everyone. I'm here to try to explain the difference between a balanced mono cable, balanced versus unbalanced, stereo versus mono cables, um, all that fun stuff that will help people to get a better sound result for your live shows, for your events, etc. Um, so here we have a balanced mono cable. So if you look at the end of this cable, you'll see there's a tip, a ring, and a sleeve. So there's three sections to this cable. So, and uh, XLR also has three pins, which all correspond to one of these sections of this end of the cable. Um, so this cable, if you try to run a stereo signal through this end and plug it into a mono input, What's gonna happen is you're gonna hear what's called phase cancellation. And the reason that happens is because we have here a left signal, a right signal, and a ground. Whereas this end of the cable is expecting a positive, a negative, and a ground. So the key difference here being that we're running two audio channels into a mono input. So the mono is expecting positive, negative, and ground. So that would just mean it only wants to see one waveform, positive and negative, and a ground. What happens with a stereo signal is it's sending two waveforms. And often those are the same exact waveform because a lot of things are panned center. So if something is panned center, here's your left, here's your right. If something is panned center, those two waveforms are going to be exactly the same, or roughly the same. So when you send those two signals into a mono input, those two signals are going to, in effect, cancel each other out. Because you have your left waveform up here, you have your right waveform down here, and it's saying, oh, this waveform is exactly like this waveform, so therefore I'm not going to output anything. So what we want to do instead is make a breakout cable or have one available. So you would take your left channel and run that into its own channel, mono channel, take the right channel, run that into its own mono channel. So you have your positive negative here and you have your positive negative here. and the negative being tied to your ground of this cable. So instead of having your left, right going straight into here, as this cable would do, you would have it running separate. Like, and I will show you what this cable, one of these types of cables looks like. So here we have a balanced stereo plug, left, right, and sleeve. And this is going to break out into two separate, this is RCA, but they make these with quarter inch, they make these with XLR, so you would just see two of them on one end and just the one stereo signal on, on the other. So the key difference here being that instead of doing left right, you are doing um, a positive and negative send. So you might be asking, well what the heck is this cable good for anyway? So this cable is considered a mono balanced cable, and this would be used for running audio from like a speaker um, into uh, a, uh, from a mixer into a speaker. So a lot of a lot of mixers have quarter inch main outs, and it'll say on the mixer itself, it'll say unbalanced or it'll say balanced output to speaker. So you would use this cable if your speaker has an XLR input, which some speakers often do have. So this would ensure that your signal from your mixer, from your main out from your mixer, is gonna be balanced into your speaker. Uh, so hopefully that clarifies some of the confusion with some of these cables. Um, there's a little bit more to it, but hopefully that'll give people a better understanding of why you should not use a cable like this um, coming out of like a laptop or a computer or like a phone. If you see like an eighth inch plug like this and it only has uh, one XLR or like one, 
one input on the other end, something's not right. You're gonna hear phasing, these things are gonna cancel out, you're only gonna hear the signal that's gonna be panned to one side or the other. Anything that's in the center is gonna be completely not even there. So, so just be aware of that, and if you have questions, feel free to comment on this video. And thank you for watching.